The Invasion of Brood 14. Next! CapeCast! Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for April 23rd. We succumb to cicadas in the second half of the show. But first, let's take a look at news. In breaking news, four West Chatham residents barely escaped a house fire last night on Chatham Heights Road. A neighbor noticed the flames and called the fire department, and the approaching sirens apparently roused the residents just in time. In the signed, sealed, delivered department, Mashpee Selectman of the Wampanoag tribe inked a land deal last night. In the pact, the town agrees to help the tribe put 140 acres in Mashpee into trust in exchange for a promise that the tribe will not build a casino or seek private or town-owned land in Mashpee. Hey folks, Cape Cass caught up with County Bug Guru Dave Simser yesterday, and he took us deep inside a coming insect attraction of epic proportions. So 2008 is a special year, not just because it's a wonderful year to be alive, but we have a visitor to Cape Cod that's been underground for 17 years. 17 years, two feet down in the soil, sucking on tree roots, and they're about to emerge in early May, and this is what they look like, the periodical cicada. Now what's going on is that these nymphs are waiting for everyone to come to the surface. And it is literally a magic moment. The soil has to be about 64 degrees Fahrenheit, but something cues all these things to emerge all at the same time, a synchronous emergen emergence. And they'll settle down on a tree, stay in place, and do this amazing transformation from being a nymph into being an adult. These things are going to be everywhere for six weeks. They don't bite people, they don't sting, but they fly around in a helter-skelter fashion, zipping from treetop to the ground and back, and they'll be making a noise, kind of a trill sort of noise, that is going to be as loud as a chainsaw. You won't be able to hear a plane flying overhead, you won't be able to hear a car horn in certain areas. There'll be hundreds, if not thousands, of these things flying around. But right now, what you might notice in your garden, or you might notice if you were out raking this past weekend, is a series of holes that are about dime size. And if you carefully, carefully dig around those holes, go down about two inches, you'll find one of these nymphs. Once the female has mated high up in the treetops, she'll be looking for a place to lay her eggs. So a typical place, like on this new crab apple, would be right at the very tip of a branch. And what she has is a sword-like ovipositor. She'll dig down into that branch and she'll lay a clutch of about 25 tiny little eggs right in that branch. And that's where they're going to incubate. So what'll happen is this whole tip of the branch will just die off and hang down and it'll turn brown. And of course, it's no, it's no longer available to the tree, so that'll have to be pruned off. That's the only damage that they'll be doing. But if you can imagine on a tree this size, if you have 200 females, each laying 25 eggs, it's going to turn this entire thing brown. So if you just put in new trees in your yard or wherever, you might want to consider protecting them with a covering of cheesecloth or some sort of screening that has mesh about a half an inch or smaller. That way the females can't get in through and lay their eggs. Now let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast, backed by Robert Scott Button video of the giant buoy that has washed up on Sandy Neck in Bastable. Button says it's as big as a Volkswagen. Your weather for tonight, partly cloudy with a low around 52. For Thursday, partly sunny with a high near 69. Beautiful stretch of weather, folks. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for April 23rd. Till next time, see ya. Cape Cast.